so sorry if the lighting gets really bad. It's literally sunset hour and I'm filming in my mom's office because that's where we are and that's where I decided that I wanted to record, okay? Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm making this video because I want to really reset for 2023. So we're doing all the things and I'm gonna walk y'all through what we're doing. So letting y'all know, I am going to leave down below a link to download a special guided reflection sheet. All I ask is that you stick around on this channel. Check it out. It's down linked in the description. You can also find all of my social media there and let's get started. Something that's actually really special to me and I want to talk about. Writing down like a visualization of something is such a huge thing for me. This book right here, this notebook, I think I've owned it since the sixth grade, okay? And it's really special to me because of something that I wrote in here. In 2018, I wrote a letter to myself that I would open in 2021, which for y'all who don't know, was like the beginning of my senior year. And in this letter, just gonna read this to you guys, I literally wrote, I go to my high school and I'm in the top 5% of my high school class. That is exactly where I ended up in my ranking in my high school class, which is crazy because I didn't remember this thing existed. I picked up this notebook at some point in the end of senior year and I looked in here and I read that letter and I was like like it, it became true at the time when I read that like I basically had every single thing that I were written on here but the part that really blew my mind was like the specific ranking like I literally got the exact same ranking like that's mind-blowing that my friends is exactly why I like live and breathe really tell people that you should write things down because I truly think that if you write something down, you have like 200% of a probability of actually reaching that goal. So I'm gonna walk you all through what I am doing this year. I'm gonna show you guys the online version of what I'm doing for this and you can download this PDF like right down below as I was mentioning to you guys. What I start off with is what I have in 2023. And so this 23 bullet point list in which you're gonna go through and you're gonna write what you have as if you have it. So it's not about going to have, it's about like you already have it and you're writing it down as though you already have it. The way I like to do this, and I read somewhere that anytime we were writing down wishes, it's really good to start with like something that's outside of us and end it with something that's within us. So the way I started my list was about my family, my extended family, and then I narrowed it down to my family, what I want for my family or what we're gonna have as a family. And then I slowly narrowed it down to be more of my own thing. So be specific, don't, think that these are just overgeneralized things. No, like think of all the things you possibly want or need, write them down, be specific and make 23 of them. Okay. The next thing that you guys are gonna do is the reflection of 2022. This part is I think the most important because it is what really makes you think about things. So this last semester I was actually in a class that's um, like my introductory freshman year business class and my professor, she really believes in reflection. She drilled that on me. And at first, like you hear this and you think like, oh, that's a bunch of BS. Yeah, of course, reflection is good for you. But doing her reflection assignments and writing those throughout the semester was so beneficial to me, especially at a time that I was literally going through so much, like personally, just with the change, I think reflecting was actually so good. And I think there's definitely benefits to it. The prompts that I'm leaving for y'all down there are, you're gonna start by saying 2022 was a year that, and then you're gonna say a lesson or something you learned in 2022, like a big picture moment, just kind of a sentence. Like think if you could encapsulate your 2022 into one single sentence, write that down. Listing all the highlights and accomplishments from 2022, okay? So however many you want, you're just gonna list all the things that were like yay, go me type of vibes in 2022. And I literally had 17, so go at it. Really good to celebrate your wins and it makes you put to perspective that if anything went wrong, then look at all those things that did go right, what worked in 2022. And you're kind of just saying like what personally and internally really made your year successful. Like based on those things that were accomplished and whatnot, like what went right. For example, for me, it was like focusing on reaching my goals. Then it's also good to look at what you do wrong because usually if you look at the negative things that happen in a year, it makes you think about it and why you made that mistake or why that might have not worked for you and that way you can have a better starting point next year and not have to deal with that again. That didn't work in 2022. What were some lessons that I learned in 2022? Those kind of go in hand with what didn't work or what did work because at the end of the day, like those things kind of teach you 
starting things about yourself and others. And then a big question I had was how did my life evolve? What happened? What transformations really went on? The last prompt to conclude this is what in 2022 are you the most grateful for? Gratitude is always important. I talk about this all the time and I talked about it in my last video that anytime you talk about what you're grateful for, you are changing your perspective and you're really adjusting that um, victim mindset into like what you're actually receiving and that's much better and much more positive note to live with. And then we have this part which is really cute and you don't need to make fun of my doodling because I'm not an artist in any way shape or form but I do like to see things like visually. Start with a theme okay so pick a theme for 2023 and you're gonna place it up there. I have that linked below so don't forget to just go along with it and the theme is a word it could be Anything you want, fearless, uh, focus, flow, anything. I picked wonder because I thought that wonder kind of was a mix between going with the flow and surprise in a positive way combined together. It's kind of just being open, but in a good way because good things are coming. Like you're gonna kind of bullet point below it how you plan on actually embracing that word or what is gonna make that possible for you. How is your year really gonna be wonder or how is it going to be fearless like what things and actions are you going to take to make sure that that's true then we have a part that i love in all your 2023 self and you're going to label all the things you want from there so your evolution okay so i took it as like evolution of mind evolution of heart evolution of mindset evolution of like my body my physique evolution of everything an open mind mind over matter heart driven healthy in all definitions you make this your own thing it's just what you want to be and put it visually you can put words you can draw you can doodle you can be artistic anything you want and then i continued that by saying like what am i releasing in 2023 you're going to list all those things out and you're going to say bye to them then it gets fun because i like to do is i like to take my big picture goals of 2023 and i want to write them down think like big picture think like umbrella okay and then you have the drops of water that go under it and those are all different sections and so you're going to write your big picture goals and once you're done with those big picture goals remember to make them smart goals that's always important i want you to go ahead and go into all the different areas of life so health relationships spiritualism career money goals creativity personal growth all those things and you're going to write exactly what goals you have for those things this is really important because then you're not going to forget one of the sections pick that one area of your life that you feel like this year maybe you're neglected a little bit and you want next year to really focus on that because that way you're gonna grow a lot more and when you look back in 2022 you're gonna be like holy cow and then you're gonna do my favorite part that i haven't done yet write a letter to yourself you're gonna title that letter my dream life in 2025 and then say bye whoever you are written on december 28th or whenever you're seeing this of 2022 and you're gonna write yourself that letter and you're gonna open it in three years and you're gonna be like me and you're gonna forget it existed and then you're gonna open it read it and realize that you actually got exactly what you put in it that's how i visualize in writing now for the really fun part and they're gonna make a a vision board and that my friends is why i'm in my mom's office right now because i need to use her printer and i would not be able to print in color and make them good if i wasn't here we're gonna look for some things on pinterest and we're gonna print them and then we're gonna build it together. All right guys, so we're home. I printed everything out. Right about now it's time that I'm gonna actually cut all the things out and I have this giant folder filled with so many papers. And then I have this right here, which is where I'm gonna put my thing. And I don't know if it's too big, at the moment, I'm gonna cut everything and then decide whether it's too big or not. I'm kind of hoping it's not. I did print a lot of big things, but I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last one I did was in 2020 and I was a very different person back then. So this should be interesting. Let's do it. finished it 
and I love it. It looks so good. It's huge. But now that I've finished that, I really want to encourage you guys to do all this stuff. I mean, the new year is coming and I know some people tend to think that goal setting and doing all these visualizing things can be just a bunch of BS, but at the end of the day, I feel like they just help you get your mind in the right path. It doesn't mean that everything you put down is gonna come true, but it does mean that you have an idea of what you want. And I think having an idea of what you want and visualizing that is a much better spot to be in than being absolutely clueless of where you wanna be. Keep that thought in mind as you go into the new year. I really hope you guys enjoyed doing this with me and let me know what your favorite new year's resolution ritual is to do every single year. Uh, don't forget to check the bio because I'm going to have linked my PDF for y'all to do your reflections and resolutions for, for the new year. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I literally cannot wait for 2023. It's going to be a blast and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.